before starting your first assembly program, you're going to need to download the tool as well as the um, reference materials. Links to those two things can be found here in the assembly section of our textbook under Get Started. Install LC3 tool has the, the links that you're going to need to do this. Now this download for the tool is necessary for you to do work at home. This tool will be installed on our uh, classroom computers, but figuring that you're probably going to be doing work, particularly your assignments at home, you're going to need to install the tool there for your, your own use. Uh, this tool will run on Windows, Linux, and Mac. And there's some information about which of the files to download to get started, depending on which platform you're running. The link right up here is the one that you'll click on to go to the GitHub page for the uh, tool itself. Now, as of this video, the latest is version 2.0.2, .2, but if you are clicking on this link later, you may find it takes you to a different version. The link will point you to the the correct version that we'll be using. So uh, don't worry if it's different. Now here we've got several uh, install packages, including a Linux installer, uh, a Mac installer, and then we have two different flavors for Windows. Uh, one is a portable version and the other is one that you actually install um, like a larger applications. Click and download whichever one of these you need and then back here there's some help on um, how to install on the different platforms windows you just click on the executable um, the two non-windows versions here are what's called a portable installation and that means that you don't actually have to install it you just copy the executable onto your system according to however your um, your system requires and you can just run it kind of standalone. That means you can also put it on a portable drive uh, such as the thumb drive and plug it into another similar computer and you should be able to run it from there. Windows has two versions. One is the um, the the version which is the version number that is the portable one so you can unzip it put it onto a portable drive and double click it uh, to run it. There's another one with setup and this does takes you through the setup installation. I would recommend using the first one for Windows, the portable one, uh, because that does allow you to carry it around with you. So should you find yourself on another PC or maybe at a, um, a Hancock uh, lab, you can just plug your thumb drive in and, and get to work without having to go through these install steps again. I'm running on a Windows system. I have already installed the Windows version, which is this one right here. And when I double click it, it will start up on my other screen, the, the tool itself. So whichever platform you install, once you start it, when you see this screen, you know you've got it successfully installed. And the other thing you're gonna need is the uh, LC3 documentation and the assembly template, which are here in this link. Click here, I'm going to download it. It's a zip file. I'm going, I've already scanned it, so I'm just going to download without the scan if your browser happens to ask. And then you should end up with that in the location you download it. Uh, unzip this into some place that you're going to have access to it for the entire semester because you'll be referencing this the whole, uh, the whole class. Okay, there we go. I will delete the zip. And so now I have this folder with some reference information in it. A couple of important uh, things here. This is the assembly template, which we will you will start most all of your assignments with the assembly template, which is just a, a blank set of comments and some starter commands just to make it easier to get started um, on your assignments. And then the docs here are some PDFs that we'll be covering in class. This is a newer tool we're using. So I did include the old tools, which you will just have on your system in case we do need them, but most likely you won't need to be using those.